Um, but I want to ask you about this, though, because the president came out yesterday and said, everybody beware here in America, the prices could go up. Here's a tweet from you on Monday. The most immediate impact for the average American, the price of gas is about to spike, which is a tough blow on top of a year of terribly high prices. And we can show the national average regular gas price uh, today is $3.54. A year ago, it's $2.65. And your constituents are feeling that every single day. The gas prices are already high. What in the world could possibly be done now, given the policies of the Biden administration on oil and gas? So I think we've always known that Putin, this is, I mean, one senator called Russia basically a gas station with an army, right? That is what they have, is the ability to leverage their oil and gas to threaten people around the world. We know that they're starting to do that. We know that they've been preparing to do that. Um, you know, there's some of us who think that we should suspend the federal gas tax. That's something that I introduced last week. A temporary suspension, it's not perfect, but at least it would bring down the average cost of a gallon of gas for my constituents who drive 40 miles one way to work. But I think the American public needs to prepare itself not just for that, but for the other things that Russia's going to do. Cyber attacks. I, I just, I feel very strongly we're going to see cyber attacks from groups in Russia on on our infrastructure, on things that matter to the American public. And I, I just, this idea that we're disconnected from the world, unfortunately, is just not true. Uh